Well, and I still have some time left. So, dismantling of the EM251 has started already. And the first, of course, to come, come loose was a slender, slender hand and piston. And I'm already able to well, make a few conclusions on the wear and tear of this uh, engine. Look outside. This is a completely black piston head. Well, it should not be black, of course. Next, I'm measuring the piston ring, the clearance. Clearance, there it is. It's just 0.65 millimeter. Doesn't sound worn, does it? Also, I have been testing on the piston, piston pin clearance. And although I do not feel any particular clearance, I do feel a rough spot. And when I turn it around, like I'm trying to do now. It's a bit, well, almost sticky at times. So that's clearly not what it's supposed to be. There's some more gre degreasing to do. <laughs> Ah, oh, dirty. Next, I show you the cylinder head um, gasket, which is well torn at my finger here. You see, you see also here on the cylinder a rough spot. I think this has been has been caused by some uh, salt on the on the road, and there are also signs of leaking. Not badly, but it's well, its surface is greasy, dirty, greasy. This is the way it was sitting. Oh, sorry, that's the way it was sitting. <laughs> so it looks like it was not completely 100% gas tight sitting against the cylinder head but still well this does not not, not this does not explain a loss of compression next comes the piston which is well actually it's dirty but it's not looking that bad not looking that bad at all there are some surface scratches Oh yes, there are, but I still see signs from the original casting, 18 years ago. So, although there are some some evidence of dirt on, on it, after 18 years and 20,000 miles, 32,000 kilometers, that's to be expected. And there is a little sign here of leaking, but that is under the uh, under the tightening spot of the upper ring. Same here under the tightening spot of the lower ring. So, well, nothing extraordinary, except that it's completely black, and that's not what I want. It has been running way and way too rich. This is. Everything I see so far is, is are signs of an engine that is running too rich, consuming too much gas. Now there they are together. The EM301 and the EM251. Sitting next beside them, beside themselves. I've been checking the play on the crankshaft. According to the manual, to be seen on this on my screen here. Actually, axial axial play in this direction from left to right 
may go to up to one mil. This one has 0 0.5, this one has 0 0.4, so both are good in that sense. The other actual play in vertical direction is something that I, well, I'm sorry to say, I can't measure. It should be between 0 0.002 and 0 0.035 at when new and with more than uh, 0 0.05 millimeter at play of play they are considered to be worn all I can say is that this uh, crankshaft this main bearing of the crisis of this crankshaft feels definitely tighter than the crankshaft of the EM251 so I uh, I stick with my decision that I will be using my EM301 engine case with crankcase so far <laughs>